Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video. In the previous tutorial, I demonstrated how we can use the amazing group by function in Excel to calculate the sum, average, and percentage of total sales by products and payment type. And of course, we also considered how we can use the amazing conditional formatting to dynamically format our data. In this follow-up video, I'm going to show you how we can filter our group by formula so that we can specify the filter array input values. So let's get started. We're going to maintain the same data set used in the previous video, and I want to come to cell J2 to execute the formula. I'm going to type in equals and then call the group by function. For the row fields, I'm going to select the same products and the payment type column. So double click to select and that's going to include the products and the payment type headers and then i'm going to put in a comma for the values i'm going to click on the sales amount twice and that's going to include the sales amount label or headers now this is very important for this formula to work the row fields must be of equal length with the values and then i'm going to come back and put in a comma for the function, since we want to see the sum, average, and percentage of total sales, I can use the H stack function to stack the sum, average, and the percentage of total sales. So I'm going to call the H stack function, and I'm going to open the brackets. Now for the array one, I'm going to call the sum function. I'm going to put in a comma. For the array number two, I'm going to call the average function. Put in a comma and for the three i'm going to call it percent of so percent of function and i'm going to close the bracket for the h star now by the way i'm going to continue in the formula bar in order for you to understand this code so Control shift u to expand the formula bar i'm going to come after the opening bracket alt enter and that's going to move the formula to the next line which is cool i'm going to come after this comma here and then alt enter and again, after this comma, Alt, Enter. So I want to continue here. I'm going to put in a comma. The next argument is the field headers. Now, for the field headers, I'm just going to select three. Yes. And show. So press the tab key. I'm going to put in a comma. For the total depth, I just want to show the grand total. So I'm going to select one. I'll put in a comma. For the sort order, I'm going to skip that. And then for the filter array, now I'm going to close the brackets for now and deploy by pressing enter on the keyboard. Now we have the sum, average, and percentage of sales by product and payment type. Now the sum is 98,703,746. Now we can go ahead and specify the filter array input value, and which is the core part of this second video. I'm going to delete these brackets for now. So for the filter array, this is exactly the include argument of the filter function. We can do the same thing. So we will actually filter the sales amount to see all the transactions or the sales that are between 50,000 and 100,000. So I can specify by opening this bracket and then I can check this sales amount column double click. And then I want to use the comparative operators greater than or equal to 50,000 and then close the brackets. And this is going to be the first criteria for the filter. And then I'm going to use the multiplication sign because this is going to be and logical operation. Open the brackets. And then for the second criteria, I'm going to check the same sales amount. Make sure you include the label. Are you less than or equal to 100,000? Okay, so make sure everything is fine. I'm going to close the bracket for the second criteria and then close the bracket for the group by. I'm go ahead and commit this formula. So, control enter. You can see we have 35,713,892. This is basically how we can supply the input value for the filter array argument of the group by function. And this is exactly the include argument of the filter function. So I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends, and comment. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.